I have a master's degree in the second language education, which is a master in McGill. One of our job is to observe. We went to the classrooms of the public schools, private schools, primary schools or secondary schools, mixed schools or single gender schools, all kinds of schools. We observe the classrooms. So I marvel at the, um, the wonderfulness of these classrooms. So we uh, just introduce you. How could your children become the social elite of North America? First of all, something about Montreal. We have heard Toronto, we have heard Vancouver, but we never heard, we never hear uh, Montreal. Montreal is actually the most habitable city in the world, according to uh, OECD, okay? According to OECD. Never fall behind number five. Always number one, number two, okay? So, Montreal is the largest bilingual city, which is very, very, very important for uh, education. It's bilingual city. Which, what does it mean? It means in Montreal, almost all residents, they could speak English and French as mother tongue. That's why Justin Trudeau win the campaign and become re-elected the prime minister. Because he speaks French. And his opponent, Andrew Sh he speaks English. And in Quebec debate, we don't want. That's why. That's why over the 40 years since 1970s, seven out of ten prime ministers of, uh, of Canada came from Quebec. Most of them received uh, basic education in Montreal. And for immigration like us, right, like me, my older son speaks English, French, Chinese and a little bit Spanish. He is four years old. He knows which language he should speak to different people. To his grandmother, only Chinese. To me, any language, except the Spanish. To, to his mother, English, and the Chinese. There are many high school graduates, if they speak four or even five languages, don't be surprised, that's normal. That's normal. I will show you a video, okay? I'll show you a video. Um, just uh, to make you to make you know how these kids are. So that's why it's the best study city in the world. And as I said, so many prime ministers, so many lawyers, ma uh, the doctors, so many uh, ministers, they all came from uh, of Montreal. Okay. If you want to have good jobs in federal government, you want to be lawyer, you want to be a uh, doctor, you want to be social elite, you have to speak French. In Ottawa. When these ministers, they have a party, they will speak French, okay? Like in a big international companies, if the high position managers are from Hong Kong, in a private parties, which language do they speak? They speak Cantonese. So I just show you a video I took myself. Five minutes, a few children, primary children, secondary children. I just want you to feel how they look like. Look like. Uh, well, it's a great school for studying. And our school, in um, sixth grade, I'm pretty sure it's like 50, 50% English and French, or 60% English and 40%. No, no, um, so, or else, um, nous avons a fait un, comme our présentation de photo dans 1905. <laughs> Alors je suis venue à Brebeuf parce qu'il y a beaucoup d'opportunités à parce que c'est classé comme une des meilleures écoles ici à Montréal. So here at the school, I chose the international um, profile because well, um, I learned Spanish and there's IB classes. In IB classes this year we do drama class and I find it really helpful with Spanish. I, I really like this school because um, it's very interesting. The teachers are all, all very nice and the students are very... Uh, we are not very competitive with each other, so we make friends really quickly and we help each other with our homework, exams, all sorts of things. Today, this experience shows the electricity static. 
Mais puisqu'aujourd'hui il fait trop humide, la machine ne marche pas très bien. Mais habituellement, vous savez, vous voyez que les trucs blanches ici, ça descend en bas, ça arrache les électrons et qui est chargé négativement. Puis quand ça remonte, ça va charger la boule négativement. Et si on approche un objet chargé négativement, un autre objet chargé négativement, ça va se repousser. Ah, uh, what I mean is that you should have a collège en rebeuf. I am part of the Latin program. I, it's my fourth year here. Uh, je fais de la grammaire, civilisation latine. Check it out, do I? I'm sure you guys are very fans of what I do. Because I get to learn a lot of stuff here, especially in Latin. The grammar, the, the grammar aspect helps me in French. En français, si il y a des notions assez difficiles, uh, le latin ça va être vraiment la civilisation ça me passionne. Uh, 我叫 Simon， 我现在中学五年级，然后我在 IB 班。嗯、呃，我觉得学校还不错，因为有很多 activity 可以做。我叫，我叫 Simon Chen， 呃，就是要上大三。啊，我就是要 profil IB， 呃，我们在学习西班牙语，从大三到大四。Hello, my my name is Simon Chen. Um, I'm in secondary five in the international profile. Um, you learn. Um, Spanish from secondary one to four. Um, I like Rebeuf because there are a lot of activities and the teachers help you during your schoolwork. Um, hola, uh, me llamo Simon. Soy en secundario cinco. Um, y soy un, en, un, en el profila de IB. My name is Terry. Um, I'm 17 years old this year. I'm in pre U, which is grade 12 at LCC. Oui, um, je vais à l'école LCC, à Lower Canada College, ici à Montréal. Um, on est une école bilingue, um, anglais et français, et uh, on a le diplôme IB. Donc, LCC, on a besoin de pour moi, c'est pour que je suis en train de faire des études, et que je suis en train de faire des études, et que je suis en train de faire des Oui, je pense, um, quand on parle français, on a des nouveaux um, opportunités dans la vie. Uh, pas juste en, dans l'école, mais uh, dans tous les aspects de la vie, on peut aller à plus de um, pays, on peut apprendre des nouveaux, de, de nouvelles cultures. Um, moi, je dois venir tout juste à Montelier, um, ni au Igor. Pour y en avoir une expérience, comme uh, le chef de moi, chef de Gao Zhong, c'est uh, Jianlanda. Parce que la plupart des gens à Montelier ou à Quebec sont des fire. Tu vas parler avec des gens différents, et le monde de la culture est vraiment différent de la culture de Jianlanda. Je pense que le plus grand plaisir que tu vas faire, c'est que tu vas rencontrer des gens différents. Um, because I think you need to future you need to know a lot of their connections in the United States. Because you need to know the most people you can know so that you can have a different way you can go. Your kid is going to do an exam when he starts here in the, in the school. And then they're going to see if he's good enough to be an enrich or an irregular. I'm an enrich because I was in a program at my from my school before, but if you do it in rich, well, you have a class with only in rich students, and then you can speak fluently in English. À l'école, au Mont Saint Louis, c'est vraiment une école francophone aussi. Donc, on a des cours de français tous les jours. Cours de on a aussi des jours où on a deux cours de français. Donc, c'est vraiment comme très francophone, mais on a quand même de l'anglais une fois sur deux. Vous pouvez venir à cette école quand il y a des tryouts. Et dans les tryouts, il y a des gens qui ont été formés. Vous pouvez venir à cette école quand il y a des tryouts. Easy. Put in hard work and then succeed. Man, the plastic has three days per span. It's been solved. This is a video I, I made myself. So every September and August, I would go, I would go to these uh, elite colleges, uh, the private colleges. I will ask student questions. Uh, Sometimes the, the student have to respond to my question in the same language I'm asking, except the Spanish. Okay? So I cut my part out. I, I just uh, keep their part, and you see this. This is a very like example of how the, uh, the students in, uh, in, in Montreal look like. It's very normal. We have dig out so many data, and we have um, a long list of successful people. I just give you only a part of it, so you can see these people. Okay, you can see uh, uh, Pierre Trudeau, the fifth uh, Canadian Prime Minister, and his son Justin Trudeau, re-elected right now. Okay, so this this gentleman has put his son 
his older brother, younger brother, all in the same college, in the same high school, which is the best high school in Canada, which is called Ecole uh, École Jean de Brébeuf. It's very, very well. You just seen a few students in the, in the video. They, they came from the school of, of the, this family. So this this family would prefer, and also uh, Justin Trudeau aussi. Uh, I speak French. So he has put her his two children, two daughters, in the same school. He he was studying at also the college uh, Jean de Brébeuf. So the family will be registered in the same school. So what if our children could go to that school? So we will have connections at that student set. We have connections, which is very important in North America. We have students whose father is prime minister. Huh? Whose father is as a minister of justice. That's, that's incredible, right? So we have uh, right now, Julie Payette. She is right now the incumbent uh, governor. We have uh, uh, Prime Minister Philippe Bouillard, we have Moshe Sapid, we have Steven Pinker, we have all this, the uh, Urban Cobbler, we have all this, uh, the Attorney of General, we have the, um, we have John McCollum, all right? We have John McCollum, we have Nobel Prize winner. These people in different fields, they have one thing in common. They received fundamental education in Montreal. So all of them speak at least English and French. Some of them will speak their language of ori origin. Our plan, that's what service we offer. We know that sometimes it could be hard for you to make decision to live in Canada, to live in Montreal, which is a little bit different from Hong Kong, where you are so much used to. You will worry sometimes that you don't have energy to take care of your children academically. You don't know French yet. You know it's hard to go to school. So we offer that service to you, okay? We will help students to go through from the welcoming class to go to public school, and then they'll help them to pass through the mission test, go to the best elite college to be classmates of the family of Trudeau. We will offer you a visa. We offer you the uh, the, uh, uh, the planning and the tutoring of children and also help all the parents to go to school with you. Sometimes you need to meet teacher who only speaks French because that's French public school. She doesn't speak English at all. She, she's able to speak. She doesn't speak. So we will be with you. We translate for you. And then when you speak, when you learn French, you can handle by yourself. Okay? You share a common language with your children, which is French. That's our three-year program. In Quebec, we have a system. This system is called welcoming class. Okay, welcoming class, which means the Quebec Ministry of Education know your children is not your children are not able to speak French yet. So, if the children were put in a regular class with classmates who already speak French, that's not good. The children needs a period of transition. So that's a transition. Children of similar age will put in a single classroom. The teacher was with French teaching experience, a second language, will teach students. They will probably teach mathematics with easy French, physical education in easy French. And then step step up, step up, step up until the teacher feels this child is capable to join the regular classroom. And the teacher will let the child go. Go to regular classroom. Okay? The child will be mixed to the uh, classroom very quickly. And you know, for children who study, who learn French by playing, by having fun, it's very efficient and quickly. Soon, you will find the children become bilingual. So, the younger the child children are, the easier, the more easily he or she becomes bilingual. And you will keep up studying French too, otherwise you don't share the common language. So the first step is we will help students to, to step out of the welcoming class as soon as possible. Under our tutoring, on average, each child will step out of welcoming class six months or earlier. We will invite the teachers who teach in the secondary or primary school to teach the child. We have Chinese tutors to help too. So usually they will step out of the welcome class uh, sooner, six, six months early. And then they will go to public schools. Do we have to pay? No. 
Why not? We have study permit. Remember that? Step four. You have study permit free of charge. So we go there free of charge. We have wonderful public schools too. Right? If the child really wants to go to the top elite school, like those of Huigo families go, we will prepare the child to go to that school. And also, there is no one uniform test, admission test, because different schools have different principles and goals. They have their different tests for admission. And we all know their, their uh, admission tests. Uh, we know your child very well. If the child is very, is very talkative, we probably will say, uh, Jean de Brebeuf is the right one for you, because they focus on uh, teaching leaders. If your child is silent, but is very um, enriched in your, your reasoning, so he maybe is a scientific genius. Probably go to another school, Ecole Jean Eudd. So many graduates of Ecole Jean Eudd goes to Stanford. So it depends on different students. Uh, now I give you an example. These are the uh, primary schools, uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, private primary schools. The best one, the class size. Okay? So, for example, Pensionnat Notre Dame des Anges. It's very famous for not only the course, but also activities. For example, it is famous for skiing. Why? So many parents send their children to this school just because of skiing. Why? Because this team is coached by Canadian national skiing team. Gold medal winners of Winter Olympics. Retired ones and the current ones, champions, will coach your child. How much do we pay? 400 US dollars, sorry, 400 Canadian dollars each semester. Why so cheap? Because these champions, they are doing volunteering job, which is very important. And your child will do volunteering job too, when he or she grows up a little bit. Okay, I do volunteering too. I go to the school for my child and I give information to other parents. Everybody does that. Community. Also, we have uh, College Beaubois Musica. La Musica. This college in the primary section, they have a chorus. You know chorus? Singing together. They will go to big churches. They will go to, uh, we have a church called Oratoire de Jean Joseph. They will go to France to sing. But many of them will choose McGill Musical Conservatory when they graduate. They become professional violins, violins, pianists. So this is famous for musical. So it's all different. So that's a, a, a very typical weekly schedule. How many hours did they study? 25. These are basic subjects. They have to study. All right. They have to study French and, and, and uh, uh, English. Français, Anglais. Two languages. The week one, math is taught in French. Week two, math is taught in English. Week three, back again in French. You know what I mean? Okay. Two teaching languages. Not only teach English, but you have to learn other subjects through English and French at the same time. That's not what they do in Vancouver or in Toronto. They only do English. Trust me, if your child is young, when I say young, I mean it's uh, younger than 13 years old. His brain is open. No matter you put two languages or three languages or four languages inside, he could take that. Trust me, that's the scientific result. If past 13 years old, I'm sorry, the door is a little bit closed. Until adult. When you study a new language, I think you will ask why. When you, when you ask why, when you study a, a, a new language, that means you're in a low efficiency learning period. Children learn language, never ask why. My child in the, in, the, in the school, he never asked why. His best friend is from Mexico. The Mexico child speaks French, English, and, and, and Spanish. My child speaks English, French, and Chinese. My child speaks a little bit Spanish from him. And that small child speaks a little bit Chinese from my son. They could communicate with their baby talk, with their children talk. These are after school activities. 
Okay, high school. Now, there are 67 high schools, the best high school of Canada. So I just want to show you some of them. First one, it's very long, it's quite a mouthful. It's a Jean de Brébeuf. This is where the Prime Minister family study. You can see their alumni. What kind of talents do they teach? They teach talents with uh, uh, um, political uh, career, law, medical uh, staff, etc. Students in this school, they need to study Latin. They need to study Greek. In the summer school, they need to go to Italy to study Latin. Collège de Montréal, the oldest school in Canada. Canada was founded when? 1776. This school is older than Canada. When the United States was created, some intellectual people in Montreal said, we are more intelligent than these US guys. Why don't we have a country? So, these school graduates form a country, that's Canada. Santan, this is a very uh, musical, very artsy. Do you, uh, we know uh, Winfrey Opera? A black talk show? Uh, okay, Winfrey Opera is uh, a guest speaker, a teacher in this school. Will come from New York to here to give them speeches. Never give up, have courage, etc. Okay? Marie de France et Stanislas. These are two French schools. When I say French, it means from France. So the graduates from these two high schools, they receive Quebec diploma and French diploma. They could go to France and have the diploma that's exactly the same as the French system. Okay? And the next one, Jean Eudre. École Jean Eudre. As I said, there are so many Stanford students from this. We also have very good English schools. So don't worry if your child is 30 years or older. The French is still could be a very good second language. Maybe not mother tongue, but it's still a good second language. We have wonderful English speaking schools. And you can see from that alumni. I think you know that, uh, you know UCC? It's a, it's a boys school in Toronto. Now we have LCC, the same thing, it's mixed. You know how much does it cost? If you have study permit, if you have study permit, you receive free uh, public education. But if you go to the, this elite college, if you have study permit, you only pay four thousand to eight thousand Canadian dollars. Okay, maybe English one is a little bit more expensive, but French one four thousand to seven thousand Canadian dollars. And if you choose the same level. High school in Toronto, you're supposed to pay 40 to 50 thousand Canadian dollars each year, 10 times. Why? Because the Ministry of Education Quebec will give money to this school. The minister tell them, never lower down the standard. Don't be afraid of recruiting those students. I give you money, keep your standard. Toronto doesn't do that. So, I'll give you an example, this is Saint Anne, okay? We have nine programs, uh, we have the schedule, you see this is uh, uh, science, mathematics, we have to study uh, English, we have to study French, we have to study uh, science, okay? I'll give you one more, one more example, Défi Monde, Défi Monde is the leader of the world, okay? So, we have to study French, we have to study English, we have to study Espanol, Spanish, we have to study Allemand, German. Plus, we already speak Cantonese or Mandarin. So how many languages do we speak? Five, six. So if your child is gifted in language, this is the right one. He's very uh, charismatic, full of charming. Speak many languages. All right? I'm very interested in that there's a course called leadership. They have to study leadership, right? They have to study leadership. Sometimes I wonder how leadership course is taught. I was very curious. So when I observed a primary school, I, 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 choose, I chose to observe a leadership class. I don't know how this class could be taught. Leadership? So I went there. I thought teacher came with uh, many small baskets and with many uh, papers of different colors. He came in and gave the baskets to each student and, and in different colors paper to each student. And today's task is please do some little stars with this with this paper and put it in the basket. And they just did it. And then at the end of the class, the teacher said, "Okay, next week we will have this class again." So 
What you should do is to sell what you did to your neighbors, to your community. This is leadership. So the child went to sell. Like me, sometimes their children knock the door of my home. I open the door, the child will say, excuse me, sir, you probably speak French, okay? Excuse me, sir, I made some cookies at home. Would you please buy these cookies with $2, please? The money I earn, I would invest in our school's cafeteria. Do, did I refuse? No, no reason, so I her $2. I could feel from her face a sense of satisfaction. She sold what she did. That's a great sense of achievement. I, I didn't know her, she didn't know me, but she sold it. So I can imagine these children, in 20 years, she became, she became a very uh, nice lady. He knocked at my door and said, Hi, sir, I'm the representative of this uh, writing. My party is a liberal party. Today, I think you may agree with us. The platform of reduce tax to middle class, to reduce carbon emissions, and to blah 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 blah, to talk about the uh, policies of the future parties. I give him the vote. It's the same thing. So the party elected, the head of party became prime minister. That's leadership. Okay, so that's the core of Canadian education. It's whole people education. Academic record is only one part of it. When the students go to the uh, biology class, they don't look at the book and say, okay, this is a uh, the plants, this is the root, this is the stem, this is the petal, this is the flower. No. They go to the forest. They take picture of the plants. They take, they take the plants back home. They draw. They do research over internet. And they tell teachers and students, what is it? That's the, that's the biology class. Okay, so we have uh, universities, you know, we have English universities, we have French universities. The, the reason why it's so cheap, because this. According to my knowledge, this figure is only, is only lower than that of Finland, the number two in the world. Number two, go back. Much higher than Massachusetts, Boston, New York, much higher. That's why we only pay one, of, one tenth of that of other English speaking provinces for the elite college. So that's, that's why I, I think it's very, very high uh, ratio of quality versus uh, price. Okay, uh, so as we, we have our special tools to monitor students' behavior, to record, to uh, record their time for study, and we uh, will provide tutoring according to students' um, fat list of français. So, uh, uh, students' uh, shortcomings. Yes, shortcomings. <coughs> So, students is, is uh, not good enough in history, we'll invite teachers from school board teaching history. We'll ask students, uh, if students not good at mathematics, we'll invite teachers to teach them mathematics. It's very uh, specific. Uh, basically, the two main concerns I think you have, one is how to immigrate to Quebec, the other one is how, uh, in the process of immigration, how my child become competent in the Quebec educational system. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay.